The European Union has reportedly urged the United States to permit the export of millions of doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine to help alleviate its current shortage. The EU also wants Washington to help free up supply of ingredients for vaccine production. The shortfall of vaccine across Europe has already had the knock-on effect of Italy blocking a shipment of 250,000 doses meant for Australia. Canberra has expressed frustration at the move and asked the European Commission to review the decision. Rome says the dire Covid situation in their country, compared to that in Australia, meant they had no choice but to act. And with the EU backing Italy's decision, there's concern about a rise in vaccine nationalism, with countries stockpiling Covid vaccine doses. Meanwhile, in Spain, a battle is brewing between Madrid and the other regions ahead of a meeting to decide what Covid restrictions should be in place ahead of the Easter holiday. Easter is traditionally one of the peak travel periods here in Spain. The health ministry have advised all the regions to close their borders and institute a nighttime curfew in an effort to stop the spread of any new Covid-19 variants. 16 of Spain's 17 regions have agreed in principle to the measures. Now, the only ones to oppose are Madrid, who have some of the most relaxed COVID regulations in the country. That's despite having one of the highest infection rates. The final decision will be made at a special meeting on Wednesday between the regional heads and central government. In France, the northern town of Calais will go into a weekend-only lockdown from Saturday. It follows similar measures around the cities of Nice and Dunkirk. More than 60% of all new coronavirus infections detected in the country are from the variant first seen in the UK. The French Prime Minister insisted that France would do everything in its power to avoid a third national lockdown. In some regions where the epidemic was out of control, we didn't have any other choice. But I want to repeat it once again. We must do everything we can to avoid this and keep this as a last resort in the worst case scenario, only after we have exhausted all other possibilities. Finally, thousands of COVID deniers marched through Vienna on Saturday to protest the ongoing restrictions on public life in Austria. The government say they will relax the measures in a gradual process beginning later this month. Rahul Pathak, CDTN, Madrid.